Ursula has a really clean line in everything that she ever wrote. And I um, admire this because one of the things it takes is focus on what is your story really about. So if you're writing a novel, there's two years that are passing. You're reading about it, doing research for it. You learn lots of stories. And what happens to me is I think, well, all these stories are so great. I have to put them all in. I, I, I go into a fit, an obsessive fit. I'm thinking, that's so interesting. I can't possibly not include it. And so is this, and so is that. And so my novels kind of like, they begin to... Um, bulge, as I want to tell every great story that I, ever occurs to me during the two years of writing the novel. It's, uh, you know, it's something I can't control. Ursula, she would know what the story needed to tell you in order to make the maximum effect for however long it was. So her novels aren't very long, and they're in, pro in proportion to how long they are because she made them as long as they needed to be. Let me, I want to read a sentence to you. Yeah, this is a little section. I want to just give you a sense of it. It is always the year one here. Only the dating of every past and future year changes each New Year's Day, as one counts backwards or forwards from the unitary now. So it was spring of the year one in Ehrenrang, capital city of Carhide, and I was in peril of my life and did not know it. I was in a parade. I walked just behind the Gossel Wars and just before the king. It was raining. Rain clouds over dark towers, rain falling in deep streets, a dark storm-beaten city of stone through which one vein of gold winds slowly. It's that image. You can just see it. And I think her sentences, this, this comes from the very first pages of Left's Hand of Darkness. It struck me at the time and I've never forgotten it. I could find it very quickly um, when I was putting this talk together. Her sentences are like that line of gold. They run through the thing and they are um, a, a kind of living wire of thought that you can follow when you read it. And that I think is really part of her uh, talent as a writer. And then, it, of course, the content. She's strange, but she's not too strange to understand. And she, again, keeps a focus on the main point. So most of her stories have one strange thing, and everything else is more familiar to you, so you can accept it. Um, she's also, um, uh, that's what makes her uh, uh, available to so many readers. Almost any reader who enjoys any kind of fiction can actually understand Le Guin. You don't have to be a specialist in science fiction or know the history of science fiction. She can indeed be your entry jug for that reason. And she's, there's also a playfulness to her, a playfulness and a sense of humor, even in her um, heaviest stories. And maybe it's not true, say, of Tohanu, but for every one of her novels, no matter how much she is basically a serious writer, um, there's a, a playfulness in the prose and in, the, and in the, the talk between the characters, which is, and I wanted this picture up here to kind of convey that that's a quality in her writing right there. So there's something that you can only put together as a kind of a gestalt that has to do with um, uh, intelligence and creativity, uh, a kind of a vision, uh, a warmth. The warmth is important, and I'm going to come back to that. And it adds up to something that we often call wisdom or greatness. I'd like, I prefer the word greatness, because who knows what wisdom is in this world. But the, the great artists have some quality that actually, as you might be able to tell from what I'm saying now, you can't quite put your finger on it, but you know it's there when you've read enough of that writer. It doesn't mean that they are the finest stylists or the most poetical. In fact, that is often the surfer that's doing too many turns. It more has to do with the content of what she's saying. And it doesn't have to do with being deadly serious. You don't have to be... And I don't want to even name the writers who try to convince you that they're important by their deadly seriousness. That isn't what she would do. 